So our final race from Perth, race 21 on the big card. On day two is a two mile four. Grab his handicap chase. It's a 0 to 140. So Venadon for Darren Thompson. Need a tonic for Craig Beckwith. Stitch in time for Gray Clutterbuck. Helvin runs for David Robertson. John Morgan strong arrow. Buffalo commercial for Vinny Gerard. Pedro Hogan die another day. David Robinson, Ellis Politon, capable, dangerous, and Martin Leadham. And the last one I missed. And there's a mistake there, as we've seen, and as they pulled away here at Perth, there's been plenty that have chosen not to run. Unusual. Kind of think this may well have happened this time last season, as they get to the first of the 15. We've hardly got anybody in the shot. It's just Strong Arrow that's gone off here. But there was a few reluctant starters there. So Strong Arrow leads by a couple of lengths from Venodome and Buffalo Commercial, and capably dangerous and rule supreme. And a couple back to Ellie's Potterpolitan and Nida Tonic. And the two we can't see are Helvelin runs and die another day. When they get to the second ditch here, leaders over it well. Look how far that Nida Tonic is back. We can't even see Helvelin runs and die another day. There's Helvelin runs. I assume die another day is even stone, but they've reached the third, the leaders. So unfortunate for those. Maybe a rerun was necessary. But they're through the first half mile, and it's this strong arrow with a three length advantage from Venadone, the Buffalo Commercial and Rule Supreme. Capably dangerous stitching time and Ellie's Politan. The other three I think you can write off. Refused to start, it appears. But anyway, we're to the fourth. The leader's over it. The rest clear it well. Stitching time just hit the ground a little bit hard. But unfortunate for those three at the back. Let's see. You can see the worst. I think die another tail. Is that I don't know who that is in the blue and white silks? It may well be Nida Tonic. I have to fly from there. Anyway, they go over this ditch, the fifth, and there's still this strong arrow that leads. The four length advantage from Rule Supreme of David Hooley's and Buffalo Commercial of Vinnie Gerrard's between horses is Darren Thompson's and Venadome. And a length back to Stitching Time, capably dangerous. And there is Nida Tonic. Come on, lad, you've made up some amazing ground. I'm not sure Hell Villain Runes runs is going to get there. He's going to have to run a lot. And die another day is eventually going to get to the seventh. Maybe not. Anyway, so it's still this strong arrow as we watch from the beginning of the race. Back up to the lead. With a three length advantage from Buffalo Commercial and Rule Supreme. Ellis Politan Stitch in Time and Benadome. All much closer than just the one length off this pack is capably dangerous. Still running on well is Nida Tonic. I tell you what, if he wins from there. From that start, we can't see in the distance the other two runners. There's one running, just went over the, the one along the straight. Can't see the others, but it's Strong Arrow that leads this one into the plain one, the ninth. They all clear that. A little bit single file, just Buffalo Commercial and Rule Supreme together. And there's Ellie's Politan, Venadome, Stitching Time and Capably Dangerous. And we know Nida Tonic's there, but he's probably used up a lot to get anywhere near this leading pack. But they're inside the mile now, and it's still Strong Arrow to the ditch. Takes it slowly. It's allowed Rule Supreme and Buffalo Commercial to get within half a length. Popping into the picture there is Nida Tonic. I'd like to see it win. But it'd be unlikely. But Strong Arrow goes on again as they go over the 11th. Almost got headed there but takes it up. From Buffalo Commercial and Rule Supreme on the inside is the top weight Venadome. Then is Ellie's Politan. And the two just at the back of this pack are stitching time and capably dangerous. Both off the bit now. Being hurried along. As we come down the side of the course here, it's Strong Arrow that still leads from Buffalo Commercial. Three in the line, Rule Supreme, Ellis Politan and Venadome. Then Stitch in Time and Capably Dangerous. Nida Tonic is still about five lengths adrift of the pack. But it's Strong Arrow under a bit of pressure now. Buffalo Commercial has moved up alongside. Not asked for anything yet. Looks ominous, but Strong Arrow, Buffalo Commercial. Wide outside is Capably Dangerous. They go over that one. Capably Dangerous jumps himself into second. And it's Strong Arrow from Capably Dangerous, Buffalo Commercial. Venadome, Ellie's Politan, Rule Supreme and Stitch in Time. But Strong Arrow still leads them inside the quarter mile from Capably Dangerous. They go over the 14th of Penultima. S took it well. This Strong Arrow still leads by and starting to pull away again. Capably Dangerous has got nothing left. Venadome and Buffalo Commercial are the only two that may well try and run down this Strong Arrow. But we're inside the final furlong. It looks like a win for John Morgan. Strong Arrow will take the crab. He's handicapped chase here. A little bit fortunate because a few runners Neglected to start, and he's going to take it with a five-length advantage from Buffalo. Commercial in second, and then it was third. Capable dangerous for his Ellie's Polly.
bottom is fifth. We sort of need a tonic. We're going to see if we can see the others. Probably not. A fortunate win, you'd have to say. There's a couple of horses not wishing to start. And they were hell of in runs for David Robertson and Diana the day. But the winner was Strong Arrow for John Morgan. Buffalo Commercial for Finjara was second. Venadone for Darren Thompson was third. Capably Dangerous Martin Leedon was fourth. And Ellie's Politan for David Robertson was fifth.